with environment is our last our last pillar. Yeah. Um, how so with your business? Mm-hmm. I mean, you've created an amazing environment in terms of a welcoming environment, but I'm yeah. imagining sustainability is a really important part as well of what you're doing. But mm-hmm. tell us about environment and what it means to you. Yeah. Um, if I'm honest, I don't have a huge like I don't have a great answer for that question. Mm. I think the environment is such a, I mean, if you talk in, in ways of like sustainability and, and doing better for our planet and that sort of thing, I think it's such a, um, God, it's just such a big melting pot of, of ways that you can help. But mm. um, I guess with the business in terms of like trying to be as sustainable as we can, we mm. do things like um, all of our packaging is sort of, it's like cardboard or, mm. you know, napkins, things like that, that biodegrade easily or the, everything's bio if it can be. Yeah. Um, we charge for our takeaway cups, yeah. um, which unfortunately doesn't actually discourage most no, people. No, it doesn't. Which is funny, like to the point where people will actually be like sitting in, but they'll still ask to have one. Oh, wow. Which was kind of, um, I mean, we could just be like, no. Yeah. <laughs> but then you kind of, you know, you're running a business, so, yeah. you know, you've, you've got to think about it from both ways. But um, we've recently, one of the coolest things, I guess, that I'm really proud of, in a sustainability frame mm. is we've I've actually got this handy dandy little thing here actually we've just started donating all of our or giving all of our tetra packs to this company called yeah. Saveboard which is new and they um, shred them all up and they've got a big factory and they make them so it's like ply board so they'll build with it so wow lots of it's like a real new initiative but there's heaps of places that are um wow. yeah sending them all there to be recycled and reused which is incredible because yeah. they're not you can't recycle them you just no. they just go in the landfill mm. um so that's really exciting um yeah and i guess like really um aside from using paper straws and bio this and bio that um the fact that we're not contributing to animal agriculture, I truly, truly, strongly believe that that is us hugely doing our part for the environment. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I still drive to work every day, but, you know, so like I'm not perfect. Um, but, you know, we recycle a lot at home. We compost our food scraps. We, yeah, I do the best I can with my business. Yeah. It is hard as a business because everything comes in plastic and it's all driven around in trucks. And, you know, so there's some things that are, are really out of your control. Yeah. But, um, Again, it's that sort of do what you can with what you have, and yeah. and I think that we we do our best to yeah. you know we recycle all of our stuff at work as well, and put our cardboard in the thing, and you know we um we talked to Casey Romero a couple a month ago, a couple months ago, and mm. she said there was this meme or this this thing on Instagram. She's like, thank God I read that, which was to the woman who do their best to have a, a you know their recyclable cup in the car, yeah. but sometimes use a takeaway cup. Thank you to the woman who, and it was just yeah. basically. You're doing your best. You can't be perfect. You can't be perfect 100% of the time, but your intention is good. Thank you. Like Yes, I actually had a very similar conversation with an incredible lady called Sandra, Sandra Jensen is her name. Yeah. She's local. Maybe you shouldn't forget her. She's very cool. But anyway, she um, she was, why were we talking about it? I don't know, but she basically said that. She said, you know, you can't be perfect all the time, but if your intentions are good, mm. like, you know, you're kind of already on the right path. And yeah. if you're... You know, if, um, I don't know, if most of the time you use your keep cup or you choose to use period undies or, yeah. you know, you're making some kind of change, then yeah. you're, you're still doing it, your part, even if it's so small. Yeah. But if in your mind you're like, I need to be better at that or I need to remember to bring my keep cup more or, you know, the intention is there and your intention is good. So yeah. And you're aware. It's, you're aware. Awareness is a massive part of it. Yeah. yeah. And I think if more people just sort of looked at it like that, because it's so easy to just put it all in the too hard basket, and I'm really guilty of doing that. Yeah. Um, Aren't we all? And I guess it's my little community that are like, oh my God, like, you need to recycle that. What are you yeah, doing? Yeah. Or whatever. And you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you heard of a girl, um, or not a girl, a lady, Nicola Green? Nicola Turner. And she's got um, mainstream green? No, I don't think so. She lives in Cambridge, and she, like, does talks about sustainability. And I took oh, my I friend have. Yeah. with me to this talk, and I, I'm, I was pretty <coughs> green to it all. And I sat there, I was like, it is easy. So, like, it yeah. sounds counterproductive, but then I went and bought myself a keep cup, you know, and she's obviously yeah. saying you don't need to buy lots of stuff, but you have to set up. So I went and got yeah, a yeah. glass bottle and a yeah. keep cup because I'm the worst because I'm always in the car, I need oh, bottles. Oh, like pump bottles. Yeah, yes. and you get stuck. So have my 
my glass yep. bottle now and I've got my keep cup that sits in the um, glove yeah. box in my deck. You know, like it's just those a small little, habit and yeah. you just like if you want to make the change you will. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. what you said, just start little because if you yes. try and change the world it's and go too much. and I'm changing all my soaps and I'm and I'm yeah. not gonna use dishwasher like good and I'm gonna do all this stuff too hard and all of a sudden you go, oh no, bottom down and everything. Yeah. Whereas little things and they become a true and it's habit. Actually achievable, yeah. 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 With the forgiveness, like she's she's crazy good like she went yeah. <laughs> to a little cafe like similar to this yeah. and they only had takeaway packaging and so yeah. she was like hold on a minute went walk down the road to um a secondhand shop oh and bought i bought a, a plate container. yeah oh yeah. And a yeah couple of forks went back ate there yeah washed them took them back so they could resell them oh, in, the, wow. in the um op shop well i guess it just proves you know where there's a will there's a way yeah um and I, I mean, I think sometimes it is situational. Like it's very hard. Like, like as a parent, for example, yeah. like it's so it's so hard, especially when you're working and doing other things to try and be, you know, package free lunches and yeah. not do this and not do that. But um, yeah, really, if it's as simple as making sure that your kids have a reusable drink bottle, you yeah. know, or like, yeah, yeah, honey, honey bee wrap. Yes, yeah, and we're really lucky that um, I think in the you know everything's quite readily available now. Like mm. it's really easy to buy. I don't know, bamboo toothbrushes yeah. or, you know, it, it's not, you don't have to go out of your way. It's just at your local supermarket. Yeah, yeah. So the option to make a better choice is, is really easily available to yeah. everybody. Or to I, most people, you know. I um, yeah. I stupidly got my ears pierced at Christmas and I've oh, had nothing gosh. but ears and ear infection yeah. after ear infection. But when I went to buy the cotton buds to oh, I've got to put this yes. special solution on, yes. the girl said to me, <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, months and months of that stuff. Oh my god! Um, but she said, "Can you please buy these ones?" So there were these two packets, oh, yes. side, from the same company. Yeah. But she said, "Could you buy yeah. these ones?" And I wouldn't have even thought about the, it. Well, it wasn't that I wouldn't have thought about it, but the packets looked almost identical, so oh. it didn't even look like yeah. there was a difference. And she goes, "That one is paper stems, so they are all oh. decomposed. And this one is plastic uh, yeah. stems." She goes, "You know, I really recommend people getting the paper." I was like, "Sweet, like there was no Easy. stuff off my nose it's, to get." Doesn't that. matter, yeah. But the packet didn't actually promote the fact very it's quite much. Interesting, eh? It that almost it was, makes you do. It does, I think, provoke the thought of like, why are companies? If there's an option to do the better thing, why not just do the better thing? Yeah. Or as a big, you know, supplier, supermarket, whatever. Yeah. Why stop both options? Yeah. Like, yeah. You know. And it's and it's not like the product. You know how sometimes if it's. I don't know. Substandard. It's, yeah, like it's a <laughs> yes. difference, you know, from a plastic straw to a paper straw, you know that the paper straw is going to get really like mucked around yeah, the top yeah. really quickly, particularly my kids that chew on them. Uh, but yeah. you know, um, but that makes no difference because the tops, you know, the things are still the same, it's just the handle. It doesn't, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's that sort of stuff. But yeah, so no, that's, that's interesting. <laughs>